Hey y'all, it's Zach. Uh, tonight we're gonna be making a new collard green recipe. Uh, you know how in the South we love our collards. Um, I'm not gonna be making it the normal way. I've always made it. I'm gonna try a copycat recipe. Um, if you don't know Big Mo Kaysen, he was in town in Pensacola a couple weeks ago and a buddy of mine got to meet him. Uh, nice guy, he said they talked for a while. Uh, so afterwards, me and him, not Big Mo, my buddy and I, we're looking through some of his recipes. We found his collard green recipes. So tonight I'm gonna copycat that recipe. Um, and I kind of decide, you know, who's the best, his or mine. But if mine's better, I'm not going to tell it because he's a pretty big old boy. Um, all right, so we're going to start. I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, saute function on first to get this started. So I'm making my own stock, and I'm making my own stock using a smoked turkey leg. And I've done some prep work. I've got that uh, boiling for the last hour and a half. So I've got, I've got six cups of water, and I've got this smoked turkey leg that's been boiling in it. But first I'm going to take about four good sized slices of ham. I'm not sorry, ham. Uh, bacon. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the Instant Pot. I'm going to get that cooking down. I'm not going to use the bacon as part of the recipe. I'm going to remove it and use it as part of another recipe. But I want that, that grease, that good old bacon grease down in there, those good bits. So uh, in the meantime, I've got some I've got some small onions that my neighbor gave me. I normally use like a medium or, white or large size onion, but I've got three of these little small ones that I'm going to cut up and use because um, I have them. I've got two stalks of uh, celery and I've got some, some rub I'm going to use. Again, this is not my recipe, it's his recipe, but it looked good, so I'm going to give it a shot. Alright, as far as my greens go, and I know some people are going to hack on me for using bad greens, but in all honesty, um, fresh greens taste better after the first frost, and we're nowhere near that, so these ought to be just as good. And I'm already cheating anyway by using an Instant Pot, so I might as well cheat a little bit more with these bag greens. So I'm going to get this bacon cooked down. I'm going to go ahead and get all this chopped up. Now these do have some stems in them, so I'm going to try my best to cut away as much stems as I can. Uh, I may leave a few in there, not a big deal. So let me get to cutting, and we'll be back. Alright, so I cooked that bacon down. I rendered some good bacon grease in here, and I took the bacon out. I'm not going to use it for this recipe. I just wanted that grease and those good drippings. So I still have my saute function on. I've got my onions and my celery that I've diced up. That's going in there. So I'm gonna get these good and cook down. Probably gonna take about uh, at least 10, maybe 15 minutes or so to get those cooked down. In the meantime, I took my smoked chicken leg out of the stock and out of Six cups of water, it rendered about two cups of homemade stock. And then what I did was that and that meat's literally literally falling off the bone. So I took a fork and I started stripping off the meat and I'm putting the meat into the stock. Uh, so while this is cooking down, I'm gonna keep picking this uh picking this bone down and getting the rest of the meat off of it. And my wife brought it up during the uh, the break that you know, some people may not know who Big Mo Kaysen is, so if you don't know, he's a reality star, he's uh, on that reality reality TV series, Pitmasters, Barbecue Pitmasters, they travel the world, uh, you know, entering these barbecue contests, that's who Big Mo is, so again, this is his recipe, I'm copycatting it, so, alright, get that cooked down, get my bone picked up, we'll be back. Alright, so I got my onions and my celery cooked down. That are turning brown. That's mm -hmm. kind of what we wanted. It smells good. Yeah, I got it. it always smells good. All right, so I turned my saute function off. Now, I got my two cups of homemade turkey broth, um, and I've got all the, the meat picked off that turkey bone, so I've got that in here too. So that's going to be the basis of this whole of this whole meal. So I'm going to go ahead and pour. See all that bone or that meat? It's all going in there. According to Big Mo, the whole gist of his collard greens is the is the broth. The, like he says, the the greens are just like sprinkles on a cupcake. So I got as many stems off as I could. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I know they're gonna go everywhere. Start getting those in. Yeah, there's some stems off. I left the one. I saw it. Yep, and believe me, it's gonna cook down to it's gonna cook down a lot. All right, so 
His next step, he took he took some rub. I'm sure it's his own homemade rub. Um, I've got some Weber dry rub here, and I'm gonna just give it a little liberal hit of that. If I had to guess, I don't know, maybe three teaspoons. All right, and I'm gonna give it a couple hot hits of uh, some red pepper flakes. Not too much, because this stuff will give it a real kick in the ass. So about maybe maybe half a half a teaspoon. All right, got my lid set and sealed. Pressure cook. I'm gonna bring it up to. 30 minutes, and then we're gonna see how good Big Mo Casins greens are. We'll see you on a few. All right, these came out really good. Um, I did 30 minutes high pressure, and I did a 10 minute natural release, and I flipped the switch. Um, really good flavor to them. They're different than mine because I use vinegar. I like that tangy flavor to it. These don't have the tangy flavor. They have more like a spice. Spice, uh, meaty flavor to it, but but really really good. So uh, so Big Mo, your recipe is is jam up. Um, I've got the other turkey leg. I put it in my air fryer for about five minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna get down on that. Um, again, this is Big Mo Casins copycat uh, collard greens. So we will see y'all next time.